So, from my final project, I decided that I wanted to do a video on genocide awareness. So, <clears throat> the plan originally was to um, give like a genocide 101. What do people need to know? What should people know? And what do people know? And so I decided to do a series of interviews. So each person that I interviewed, I asked them what they thought about basic human rights and what they thought basic human rights were. And I also asked them to name each genocide that they did. Basically, what I found in all of these interviews um, was pretty much the same thing, and that was this. Equality of the Holocaust. So yeah, we got some work to do. After looking at the interviews, I made the executive decision to go over a couple of genocides that most people should be aware of. So the Armenian Genocide. Uh, Turks persecuting Armenians. About 1.5 million were killed. Um, the Rwandan Genocide. Um, the Hutu and Interhamwe killed about 1 million Tutsis. And that was in Africa. The Rape of Nanking was when the Japanese invaded China and killed around 60,000 women and children brutally. Um, the Ukrainian genocide, um, they are estimating that around 3 to 7 million Ukrainians were killed in the USSR. Uh, the Darfur genocide, Sudanese government killed 400,000 Darfuri men, women, and children. The Cambodian genocide, um, around 2 million Cambodian people. And obviously the Holocaust, around 6 million Jews were um, slaughtered by the Nazis. And uh, in addition to that, a couple million more, you know, gypsies, homosexuals, and the disabled. So one thing that all of these genocides have in common is the violation of human rights that are preserved by the Declaration of Human Rights. There's uh, 30 rights in there that um, <clears throat> are completely thrown to the side, such as uh, freedom of speech, expression, uh, freedom to be judged the same as any human, regardless of your race or gender or religion. I mean, all of these things are stripped away. When polled in 2002, 47% of Americans uh, said that the preservation of human rights was very important. Um, what about the other 63%? With each of the 10 stages of genocide, a different human right is violated. Classification is when um, a group defines an enemy classifies who they're going at. Symbolization, such as when the Jews had to wear yellow Jude stars on their clothing. Discrimination, like with the transatlantic slave trade. I mean, slaves were discriminated against. They didn't have rights like um, normal white Americans did. They were three-fifths of a person. Organization, so when the Nazis created ghettos to put the Jews in before they killed them. Preparation producing excess amounts of weapons, um, any other tool that's going to be used to exterminate the classified group of people. Extermination, killing the group. Denial, such as the Turks right now, uh, still denying that the Armenian Genocide ever happened. Well, now we have to ask the question, what are we going to do with this information? What's already being done with this information? No, I know my interviews may have made you a tad hopeless. They definitely made me a little hopeless. Um, there is awareness that's going on right now, and that has been for a while. Um, the Never Again Foundation, you know, they have educational uh, videos and they promote genocide awareness on their website. Um, April is declared as Genocide Awareness Month. There's conventions and parades and silent offerings and a lot of other educational opportunities. Um, there is a Victims of Genocide Day on December 9th. The United Nations Office on Genocide Prevention um, monitors uh, the 10 stages of genocide that you know most countries are in around the world and they send advocates over to those uh, countries that seem to be approaching um, dire stages of genocide. So is there hope? Absolutely. There's a lot of things going on right now that are preventing 
genocide from happening again. Genocide awareness is being put out there, though it's not generally talked about. Genocide is a really, really, really important part of our world's history. But even though it's important, we have to make sure that it doesn't continue to happen. And that's totally up to us.